This is the flu. It is part of a family of virus that is highly contagious. According to the WHO, the flu can cause illnesses ranging from mild to severe and even death, with the latter occurring mainly among high-risk groups of the population. Worldwide, the annual flu epidemics are estimated to result in about 3 to 5 million cases of severe illness and about 290 to 650,000 respiratory deaths. And despite our efforts of updating the flu vaccine each year, the virus still hits the population. But why is that? Well, we know that the influenza virus is constantly mutating, creating ever-changing disguises to evade our immune system defenses. What we don't know, however, is the exact cause of the mass flu outbreaks. The only thing we know is that it has something to do with the seasons. Historical data actually states that there are two flu seasons per year, one running from October to May and another running from May to October. The difference is that those occur in different hemispheres, which in turn coincides with the colder seasons in the region. In other words, wherever there is winter, there is flu. It has even been suggested that influenza may be a reference to the Italian influenza di freddo, meaning influence of the cold. Despite that, the cold is not a cause of the flu, but rather a contributing factor for the spread of the virus. There may be no definitive answer to how the cold helps create the flu season, but there are a few theories. For example, this could be due to social and behavioral reasons. During the cold weather months, people spend more time indoors and in closer proximity than in warmer weather, thus helping the virus spread more easily. Quite often, the flu season also coincides with the start of the public school year. Daycare environment in particular is considered to be the perfect incubator for the spread of the illness. Another theory is that the shorter daylight periods during the winter months could be helping the virus spread. This could be due to a reduction in ultraviolet rays, which would otherwise damage the virus. The lower amounts of UV radiation could also be causing a reduction in vitamin D and melatonin production in the body, both of which require sunlight for their generation. This in turn could weaken the immune system's ability to fight viral infections. Lastly, cold temperatures may increase the longevity of the virus and help its spread. Colder weather reduces humidity, which may dehydrate mucous membranes preventing the body from effectively defending against respiratory virus infections. In addition, lower temperatures reduce the rate of decomposition of the virus outside of the body so it can linger for longer periods of time on exposed surfaces, increasing its chances of spreading. With all of this being said, you should still bear in mind that you can catch the flu even if it's not during the flu season. And although there's no cure, your best protection against the flu is to get your annual flu vaccine and to simply wash your hands. Hey guys, if you like this video and you want to see more, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.